I'm Mir. I'm Sophie. The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, guys. We're here! And we know. Some people in the comments said, oh, they don't recommend, but... You know, Lord of the Rings really wild us, and we want to see what's up with this one, so. We've been busy with the shows we're watching, but we are definitely going to do The Hobbit. Y'all crazy if y'all think we wasn't. Guys, smash that like button for The Hobbit, and subscribe to join us on our journey, and hit that notification bell. And we, it will be out on the Patreon a week early if you're watching this, guys. The next movie, subscribe to that Patreon for it. And without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> so people were saying that this movie was written before the hobbit i mean yeah before the lord of the rings so like they didn't make lord of the rings and then said oh let's go back they made this first oh interesting and while I can honestly say I have told you the truth, Bill Bill Baggins. I am old now, Frodo. I'm not the same hobbit I once was. So I'm assuming that picture is when he was young. Yeah, that was young Bilbo, and we're about to see, I guess. Built deep within the mountain itself, the beauty of this fortress city was legend. It's wealth lay in. Wow. It looked like that's where they were too, but it was all broken down. Remember the stairs yeah. that was falling apart? Yeah. Thor's love of gold had grown too fierce. Ah, it's always power, man, at the end of the day. Dragon! He was a fire drake from the north. Oh. Oh hey. my goodness. Oh, holy crap. And that, that dragon looked big. For dragons covered gold with a dark and fierce desire. What? So dragons like gold? Type hmm. of type of dragon is this? They're dwarves too, so they're right. small. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yo, I'm confused. Like, is the dragon being controlled? The dragon just out for it? Because they did say, like, I don't think that was supposed to be found, you know? Thranduil would not risk the lives of his kin against the wrath of the dragon. Mm. Wow. Okay, that's okay. You know what? That makes sense. That's probably why in Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. Self didn't. Well, I think they was like playing with each other, but the dwarves did not like the elf, remember? Yeah, it could be a reason. I don't Aww, look at Frodo. I know. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of crazy for this to be done 10 years after the original. They look the same, don't you think? Special effects. Make sure you keep an eye on it after I'm... When I'm... When I'm... When you're... What? It's nothing. Nothing. Mm. Right. So he, I forgot in Lord of the Rings. When did he tell him he was leaving? Did he tell him he was leaving after the party? I, don't know, I think he did. Be a good lad and put that on the gate. Odd, uh, huh? Yeah, he must already have the ring. Yeah, of course. Off, off to where? He's farthing woods. I'm going to surprise him. Well, go on then. You don't want to be late. And this is when the movie basically or the ring started around this time, yeah. Unexpected, Unexpected journey. journey. Hmm. <laughs> oh. That's young Bilbo. Sixty years earlier. Wow. I like the transition. To think that I should have lived to be good morning, my Belladonna took son, as if I were selling buttons at the door. Beg your pardon? Right. He's like, he doesn't seem like he don't want nothing to do with Gandalf right now. I'm done. So I thought they were like friends. I guess not really. Good morning. Yeah, like, but he seemed, he seemed like really like, uh, 
Like not, what? Not, fidget nervous? Not scared, but like... Um... Wow. Uh-huh. Right, if I look out my window, I don't expect you to be looking at me, too. You know what? I'm saying this, but now I kind of understand what he's saying. Because, like, this wizard comes to you like, oh, you want to go on adventures? Like, right. what? It's like, I barely know you, bro. Like, no, I'm but okay. But apparently Gandalf said he knows him. <clears throat> That's what I'm confused about, but I don't know. I wonder why he put that on his door. No. He looks so big to be a door. Who the heck is this? Is it down here? It, it is what? Down where? Supper. He said there'd be food. Gandalf. So Gandalf just sending people to his house. That's crazy. Look like a dwarf. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not entirely sure you're in the right house. Have you eaten? Uh, it, it's not the Yo, there's about to be a whole party in his house. What? Has it been cancelled? No one told us. Can no, nothing's been cancelled. That's a relief. Oh. Yo. <laughs> There's no I'm way. There's no way right four people just unintendedly came into his house like that. Okay, so clearly um, Gandalf put yeah. a symbol in his house. And it's probably making all of them come there. No, yeah, it is. Poor taste. Yeah. See, Gandalf, he tripping. I'm sorry. Like, you're not about to just be in my house like that. Me, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like, like, I mean, well, technically, this is the first time we did that. <laughs> I think he just there. I, I don't know I mean, the, remember, the dwarves, the dwarves were, like, in need of help. True. Because of what just happened. You're right. Here you go. <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to react, but like, I'm, I gotta be natural, yo. It's just, this is like, <laughs> why? Like, you're wasting it. The glasses and crack the plates. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. Cut the clock, turn the back. Huh? They're chanting a song to what he does a lot. No, bro. They would have got on my house. Right, Bilbo. I don't care what on. type of message Gandalf is trying to give me right now. I'm not going on a venture. I would have sprayed all of them with pepper spray. <laughs> I don't think they house. have pepper spray. Uh, they need help. Gandalf. I knew it. Of course. Airborne fire breather. Teeth like razors, claws like leaves. <laughs> like, this ain't dragon. Right. I'll give him a taste of the wolfish iron right up his jackson. Right. <laughs> you set him right no. down. And you forget we have a wizard in our company. Gandalf will have killed hundreds of dragons in his time. Oh, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> right, I was I'm pretty sure if he could, he would have did it himself. Do we sit back while others claim what is rightfully ours? Or do we seize this chance to take back Erebor? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, take back Aroborum. How are you gonna defeat a dragon, though? The ring. The task I have in mind will require a great deal of stealth and no small amount of courage. But if. So why does he have to go? Yeah, where does Bilbo play in all this? Because it seems like it's the elves' war, but they're trying to accomplish for the themselves. What? Not the elves, I'm sorry. It seems like this is the dwarves' war. So I'm saying, where does Bilbo fit in this? Aye, the wild is no place for gentle folk who can neither fight nor fend for themselves. <laughs> Look at Bilbo, he like, yeah, right. I just leave, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm good, yeah. <laughs> Why do we always do right, that? Right, but it wasn't that, it was different when you did it, what are the rings? You're right, laddie. Nope. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. You've been sitting quietly for far too long. Tell me, when did doilies and your mother's dishes become so important? You've been sitting quietly for far too long. Like, Gandalf knows, like, yeah. why he picked him. He senses something in Bill. <coughs> 
Can you promise that I will come back? No. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. This has come to me. Mm. They dreamt of the day when the dwarves of Erebor would reclaim their homeland. It's probably something there, like that thing they found. Right. That he's going back for a reason, because he's saying it's, it's peace right now, but he's choosing the rougher path to get something back home. Right. You know? So you basically talk about how in that mountain, when they, I think it was like the heart of something. Hmm. People are like, where are all those people at? Them feet is crazy. This realization of them being gone. Realizing that he actually is all by himself and he does have a greater purpose in life. Something like that. Hmm. So was he supposed to sign it? I think he signed it and now he's about to show Gandalf or something. Give him a pony. No, 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 no. That, that won't be necessary. Thank you. I'm sure I can keep up. Yeah, he tripping. Right. Because I'm all walking and everybody else on a horse. Bilbo seems so, like, uncomfortable yeah. with the adventure. You could tell he's so new to this. Wait, wait, stop. Stop. We have to turn around. What on earth is the matter? I forgot my handkerchief. Right, because there's no way y'all was about to turn all the way around for a handkerchief. Bilbo, for real. please, please. You got to get used to the outdoors yeah. and the adventure. This is exactly what Gandalf was talking about. Thorin has more cause than most to hate orcs. After the dragon took the Lonely Mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom. He is Thror, and not Thor is so funny to me. <laughs> the orcs always got something to do with it, always ruining something. He began by beheading the king. That's wow. completely insane. That's insane. Wow. And that's why he has that attitude. <laughs> wow. So basically, is what you're telling me is that he's him. Yeah. Wow. Dude, them things are humongous. I mean, the, door, the dwarfs are just small. Right. I be forgetting. Our enemy had been defeated. Wow. There is one I could call king. Yeah. I don't know why he's giving Aragon. <laughs> kind of like you know. He's the he's the dwarf version of Aragorn. And the pale orc. What happened to him? That filth died of his wounds long ago. Or, right, or that's that's what the story is. Yeah, yeah, because, I don't know, you know, I'm not suspicious of Gandalf anymore, but, you know, with that reaction, it was like, uh, I'm just saying this uh, for right now. Oh what, what is that? Goodness. Did they, they did mm. You're big mad that you lost to him, yeah. like... Relax. And who are they, who are they talking about master? They probably talking about the pale orc that's claimed to be gone, too. Right, because they probably... I honestly... I'm going to say, I don't think they that easy to kill. Mm. I mean, it looks like... Is this the brown wizard? It got to be. Look at his staff. Yeah, he got brown. What? The... Sebastian... What is going on? He clearly takes care of the, of the wilderness, but bad stuff is happening. Move back! Give him some air! For goodness sake! <laughs> Yo, he really giving them a therapeutic... Session right now. Right. <laughs> a dark and powerful... So someone did something to the forest? <clears throat> Who is it this time? Oh, 
is that big behind spider though? But it look like multiple. <coughs> What the heck? I ain't gonna lie, I know what was about to happen. He just sucked the black the dark magic out of him, but show me. I mean, I guess Yo, you slanging um, through the forest. Because I don't know. I'm trying to make, I guess I am trying to make so much connections, but yeah, this is the right. beginning, so. Right. I will not go near that place. Why not? The elves could help us. We could get food, rest, advice. I do not need their advice. Bro, he's so stuck in the past about yeah. the elves not helping him. I don't blame him, though. It's been a long time. Hey, Gandalf. He's a wizard. He does as he chooses. Here, do us a favor. Take this to the lads. He probably went go he probably went to the elves himself. Right. <laughs> Daisy and Bungo are missing. Well, well that's not good. <laughs> and that is not good at all. Shouldn't we tell Thorin? Uh no. It's spider webs around there, right? Or am I tripping? Yeah, they look like small ones though. Actually now the more I'm looking at them, it's a lot. Trolls. <laughs> Right. Excuse me, I, mean, I, I guess, guess it's not spiders, it's trolls. Okay, I didn't think of that. Oh. My goodness oh. gracious. I think they're gonna eat them. We have to do something. Ain't no way them horses getting themselves manhandled like that. That is a floater. Oh, might improve the flavor. Oh, there's more where that came from. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Yeah, because, like, like, ew. Like, what is going on? It might improve the flavor. <laughs> Why you sound like that? You ain't what I'll give ya. How come he's done? He thinking twice. Oh, <sighs> <sighs> Bilbo, this is real dangerous for you, buddy. You don't look very experienced. Just say it. A little appreciation. <laughs> you like narrow by. Yeah. <laughs> right, because it's like, like he's so small, would they even feel him? <laughs> now just scratch your butt. <laughs> it's part of his flesh. <laughs> What he thought he went out there with no protection. Drop him. Yo. That, that's W save right there. That's a W save. Right. But I guess I was surprised that the trolls never seen humans before. At least those ones didn't. Ooh. Bro. They was just trying to get horses back. Right. I'm surprised no no dwarf has died yet. I'm not I'll even gonna sit here that. and lie. But I think they're really strong. They're like and elusive, they, I right, think. Right, and they have a lot of agility. <laughs> right. Oh crap. <laughs> Lay down your arms. Or we'll whip his off. Yo, that gives that so uncomfortable to me. Salt and brew with a sprinkle of sage. That does sound quite nice. I know. Yo. I know. So I, I mean, I don't what know. can you really do? They cat, they got, they got Bilbo, and they, you know what I'm saying? Come on, it's uh, tell us the secret. Yeah, yes, the secret is 
to skin them first. <laughs> yeah, because I get what he's trying to do. He, I guess he's trying to get them as free and they run away. But I don't know if that's gonna work. Right now, they need, they need the wizard. Yeah, he's got worms in his tubes. <laughs> Yeah, the way, right. the way he threw him away. Did he we don't have parasites. You have so stupid. Yo, that's so dumb. The dawn will take you all. Oh crap! Oh, he said he don't want to be turned into stone by the sun. Yo, that's pretty crazy. Wow. Trolls are night animals. Still, they're all in one piece. No thanks to your burglar. He had the nerves to play for time. None of the rest of you thought of that. Exactly. Right. Don't, don't come at Bilbo. He the reason y'all even still alive right now. They would have cooked y'all in 2.5 seconds. <laughs> they would have ate them raw. These are forged in Gondolin. By the high elves, the first age. Right, come on, bro. You're not that petty. I heard swords are very heavy. Whose sword was that? Oh, sword for Bilbo. The blade is of elvish make, which means it will glow blue when orcs or goblins are nearby. And then he gave this to Frodo. Wow. Something's coming. Hello. Stay together. Oh. Hurry now. Oh, well, boy, you better get ready. Better use that sword right, now. Is it glowing blue though? Right. Is it orcs? That really is the perfect size for him though. Fire! Fire! <laughs> oh, the brown wizard. Okay. Relax, Sophie. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, it's not the sort at all. It's just a little. What the? Stick insect. <laughs> Cuz, like, what? Some kind of spawn of Ungoliant. For I'm not a wizard. I followed their trail. They came from Dol Guldur. The old abandoned fortress. Oh my goodness, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Come here. Those, those wraith things? That's the same one from the last time, remember? Well, I know that first one that he was fighting, we seen him. He's from the army of the dead. Remember when um I think there's two types of dead. So no, that was the dead, same one. Mean... No, that was the same one. Okay, you're probably right. I don't know. Was that a wolf? Are there, are there wolves out there? Wolves? No, that is not a wolf. <laughs> what in the freak? That, that's a werewolf. That's the war things that the orcs had, I think. I'll draw them off. These are Ruscabel rabbits. I'd like to see them try. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a good plan, but Bilbo, I don't know. Did he say something? I don't know, because the way of, like, when he, when he was asking, the camera pointed at him. I mean, he's not going fast oh my. enough. He going fast, but like, there's a lot of them yeah, hawking him down. basically. Oh, uh, come on. Ew. Why every time I think they show him in the past, they don't be looking as like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. good shot, good shot. Wow. That's what I was about to say. They, it's a lot of them. Yeah, I don't. Crap. I feel like they won this mission and they was not prepared. He's abandoned us. Damn, they so <laughs> quick to think he abandoned them. Jeez. Dang, that's like trying to do nothing. This way, you fools. Come on, move! Yo, he always calls someone like an idiot or something. Hey, all of you! Oh, crap. 
I mean, I don't know. Is that really safe? It's better than getting eaten. Yeah, but now, like, they can literally... How are they going to get out? Or <laughs> I'm tripping. I can't tell. No, those not elves. I mean, to be fair, Jemmer, like I said, if whatever people that is didn't come do that, they would have got messed up in there. They had to go somewhere. Oh, no. Elves. Because at first I... They look like elves, but I couldn't really see. Oh, so beautiful. Right, this is where the elves are? Or am I tripping? In the common tongue, it's known by another name. Rivendell. Yeah. Is that where they were last time? If we are to be successful, this will need to be handled with tact and respect. And no small degree of charm. Which is why you will leave the talking to me. Mm. He always do that. Get yeah. Off. Basically. Leave the talking to me. What are you doing back up? Who's right? Yo, what? I mean, I'm only saying that because, like, they they know they're with the well, so why, with the L, so why are they so, like, defensive? I get it, because <clears> I remember they don't. Like the right, I guess they just have bad blood with them. Yeah. Especially uh, Thor. What's his name? Theron. 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 Strange for orcs to come so close to our borders. Something or someone has drawn them near. <laughs> well, yeah. that's already not a good gesture. Does he offer us oh, insult? Oh, oh, oh. No, Master Glorm. He's offering you food. <laughs> <laughs> right, they ready to, they to ready. square up no matter what. <clears throat> what is your interest in this map? It's mainly academic. As you know, this sort of artifact sometimes contains hidden text. I feel like we really don't know the real reason he wants to go back there. Because he was saying to take it back, but why does he at, what does he actually want in there? It seems like he's after something like specifically. I think he does want the heart. Yeah, that heart thing? I'm not sure. It would seem you were meant to come to Rivendell. Fate is with you, Thorin Oakenshield. The same moon shines upon us tonight. The ch the freaking chances of that, really? You know, they need something to help them, like, give hope and symbolism. So this is your purpose, to enter the mountain. What of it? There are some who would not deem it wise. You are not the only guardian to stand watch over Middle Earth. Mm. Mm. Who is he chatting about? Saruman? Right, I mean, they, he could be either be talking about another one of the wizards or somebody bad. Suki Kolkai Genakani Shonarki Sobaxin. That's crazy. It was so obvious, though. Right, because. I said I don't think it was even that easy to kill him. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty crazy. What's the price? Talking about the price on their head. What's the price? I thought he was after them for revenge. I don't know. Oh, wait, the key, right? Oh, yeah, you right. I forgot. Maybe if he kills him, he'll get the key. It is not me you must answer to. There she go. Oh, here she is. Seeking freaking see in your mind, bro. Close your eyes. I have no idea. Not right, well, we got to remember, right, this is him being good, so I, I just... I'm so used to him being bad. This is the good him. But Radagast has seen... Radagast? Do not speak to me of Radagast the Brown. Why? He's a foolish fellow. Well, he's odd. <sighs> Maybe Saruman isn't good, y'all. I'm going to say that. Maybe he is, still has his plans right now. What is that? A relic of Mordor. A, a Mordor? Oh, the 
so well there you go, sir Amon. Now you can shut Basically, up. Basically when he was um He was being attacked, right? The What proof do we have this weapon came from Angmar's grave? I have none. Because there is none. Let us examine what we know. Bro, Saruman is so That's why I was surprised when you say you think he's good, cause like even from like <clears throat> what he's saying, I feel like He's only saying it because of what he's trying to do. And what is she thinking right now? Yes. You knew. My Lord Elrond. The dwarves. They've gone. Yeah. Cause Gandalf said, like, we can't ignore it. No matter what. Sauron is yeah. Sauron is chatting right now. Right, he's basically he basically clearly don't want the doors to go because whatever those orcs are trying to do, he rather that happens to them than them fulfill their quest. That's what it seems like, but I don't want to say that. But that's what it seems like, based on what we know what happens in the future. Simple acts of kindness and love. Mm. Why, Bilbo Baggins? But it gives me courage. Hmm. What, what? I don't know. I, what I you mean, mean, I know. I feel like, <sighs> yes, that makes so much sense as to why he always goes to the hobbits. Because you would think, oh, let's pick a super powerful person, human being. It's like, no. Right. If you can, like you just said, the simplest form of kindness in a person can be the strongest hero. Right. Marcus! What in the world? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 right, no, no, like no. did someone throw that? What in the heck? Thunderstorms? It's a thunder battle! Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, right. Cause what is going on? The legends are true. Giants, storm. So he's trying to destroy them, though. That's what it seems like. I just seen one at first. Bro, what? It's like, bro, the coincidences in this movie. Right. Crap. Wait, right. are they on one? Why are they fighting? <laughs> I don't know. They say it's a thunder battle. I don't know. Like, rocks just fighting, like, for what, though? Ask the rocks. Oh my goodness. Dang, yeah, he knocked his head right off. He done. Right. <laughs> that did look pretty bad, but I'm pretty sure they're okay. <laughs> y'all gave me a heart attack, you know what I'm saying? Can't lose y'all. It's not even a lot of us in the first place. <laughs> Right, grab. Oh my goodness. Grab him. I'm waiting for y'all to grab him, and it'll take two seconds. He's been lost ever since he left home. He should never have come. He has no place amongst uh, us. He's basically saying Bilbo is the um um basically he's saying he's a burden. He is a burden to the to them right now. We were too late in the mountains until Gandalf joined us. That was the plan. Plans change. Bofa. I thought Gandalf just knew they were leaving. He, that was the plan. Okay, that's new to me. Hopefully Thorin's new plan. Clearly it's not gonna work out because the way <laughs> they be so aware of where they're at, it doesn't benefit them. Smell the air. Oh. Right, they took oh. the mountain pass. Oh, they're in the mountain like, pass. Like, what? Oh. oh, they're in that mountain on that side of the earth. <laughs> like, what, bro? <laughs> it looks like he's trying to leave. Maybe the, maybe, he, maybe he feels like what Thorin said about him. So then he's about to prove him wrong. Thorin said I should never have come and he was right. Look what you did. Look what yeah. you did, Thorin. Look what you did. You're used to, to, to this life, to living on the road, never settling in one place, not belonging anywhere. Wow. Yeah. Now, now right, that Bilbo, was really... right because he was actually trying to side with you, but yeah, he didn't mean it. What's that? 
Oh, oh my goodness, near. no. Yep, they're near. It's too late. We can't leave. What? Wake up. Bro, they never even slept. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? It seemed like a booby trap. I'm so I'm I'm so confused. I mean, all he said is that they took the mountain pass, but wait, dang. are these? Get back! You're saying like are those orcs too? Right, cause bro. <laughs> wow! Wow! Or maybe they just he just didn't notice. They didn't notice. No, them. I think they're I feel like remember when they when they were saying like I can smell like I think they're only after the dwarves. I don't think they're after the hobbit. Okay. But I personally think it's probably just <laughs> And I feel like don't now because they don't speak too soon. Don't speak too because... soon. Wait, wait. <laughs> They be falling is like crazy. Yeah. What? That's crazy. Cause why does this look In like? In the heck. This literally looks like where the eye be having all their where they be making the orcs and stuff. No. Yeah. Obviously something. Oh my goodness. Wow. What in the heck, bro? This is no way to treat a guest. <laughs> Thorin, son of Thrain, son of Thor, king under the mountain. I didn't want to mention his chin, but uh. I wasn't gonna say I anything. Can't, I can't either. act like it's not there, bro. I'm sorry. A pale orc, astride a white wag. I was orc. Yeah, you said, you said he was dead. Kill him! I have found his prize. Yeah, they look like. Yo, that... I don't wanna, I don't wanna be rude, but yo, that messenger. They look, look like tumors. Ew! Oh my goodness! He needs a pedicure bad. Call him. This would make sense. This would make sense. Gollum still has the ring right now. Yeah. Right. He dropped it. Is this where the movie gets interesting? I would say yes. Oh, Sophie is about to get. Uh oh. <laughs> Here we go. See, now we're starting to connect to Lord of the yeah. Rings. Yeah. Oh, well, he just killed him, so. What is it? It's Bilbo Baggins. Bagginses. <laughs> <laughs> but we hasn't tried our races before. He's a soft. The fact that he's saying this and he used to be a right. hobbit is insane just show me the way to get out of here and i'll be on my way wow was a last yes no you can't trust this man right because all the time like <laughs> does he already know he has the ring I basically know. all i know is but i've learned you can't trust god does it does it does it like to play <laughs> maybe <laughs> oh man the story didn't say all about this it just said he took it and then got Gollum was looking for it, like... No! No more riddles! Finish him off! Fin yeah. Yo, he better get out of here for Gollum E is bomb. Right. Yes. 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 And if he loses, what then? If he loses, precious, then we exit! Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it'd be crazy. Yeah, because, like, what type of... He looking like, what are you talking about? 
Fair enough. What? Because he probably don't believe him. He probably just confused, like, just get me out of here. You talk about I'll eat you. <laughs> Talk about I'll eat you if I, if, if I win. Like, that is not fair. First they champ, then they stamp, then they stand still. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, y'all can't lie. You know that, y'all know this scene is funny. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Y'all can't lie. This scene is funny. Every reactor has laughed at this scene. <laughs> Bro, if you get this wrong, you better run. Oh, winners, winners, shut up. Why, yo? <laughs> wind. It's wind. Of course it is. Very clever. <laughs> yo, Gollum, are you mad? <laughs> Yo, it's up with them facial expressions. Yo, Gollum is smart, bro. <laughs> I was trying to guess these as they was asking them too. Crunch me. Let me think. Yo. Right, like stay over there. Time's up. <laughs> you about to jump <laughs> Yo, he... up on his face. It's time. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that hard. Last question. Yeah, right. Yeah. He about to just smack you in the face at this point. No, 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 no. You said ask me a question. Well, that is my question. What have I got in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Well, got him. I mean, of course he wouldn't think of the ring. Uh -oh. Where is it? Uh, Bilbo, it's time to leave. The thing is, even if he put it on, he's gonna be able to. He's gonna be able to see where he at anyway, cause he's so obsessed with it. Stir it. Stir it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that one bro. wasn't that bad though. Like his little jump scare. I thought it was gonna be a little more vicious. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Cut off his head. Oh my goodness. That was Gandalf. It have to. <laughs> Yo, I wasn't paying attention to why they started going crazy and trying to kill them. What you mean? Because they, they sent saw the that, blade. They sent that thing off saying to go tell that orc that they got the dwarf, and basically they was gonna kill him. Wields the foe hammer, the beater, bright as daylight. Like, what is he the king of? It looks crappy. <laughs> Get! Oh. <laughs> couldn't even catch yourself. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. It's ours. <laughs> oh crap! And it's about to just slip on his finger. <laughs> Interesting. Right, because when Frodo had it on, it looked a little bit different. He was seeing other stuff. I was gonna say that was what that was what Gollum was screaming when he was being tortured. He was screaming Baggins. One of the things he was screaming was Baggins, I think. And that's why, because Baggins Baggins stole his ring. Well he found the ring. Yeah. He did. Once he knew he was looking for it, he stole it. He didn't give it okay, back to true, him. He stole true. it. He stole it. <laughs> Dang, yo, they, they are messing them up. Hey, 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 
Oh man. Yeah, I guess the doors are really good. Oh. Oh, wow. That was a crazy save. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Gandalf could really just take them all by himself, but I don't know. He's there for guidance. Because it's like He's the wizards are powerful, but I feel like they do a little wizard trick or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Right. You thought you could escape me. It seemed like y'all was they was escaping. It did. What are you gonna do now, wizard? <laughs> no, no. That. Yeah. Oh no. That'll do it. I'm what was that? Dumb. Right. Like. <laughs> Yo. Did he just like just be like okay whatever yeah. at that point? He accepted defeat. He said, "Hey, well, <laughs> you got me." Yo, yeah. that is crazy. Wow. Ah. Now they at the very bottom. Well, that could have been worse. Ah. Oh my gosh. No, I did not <laughs> think he was about to drop on him like that. <laughs> oh wow, he can see. But why does he? Why does Gollum look like that? What you mean, Gollum always been like that? He not a fighter. He he hides in a cave. Wow. He could have killed him right there, but he didn't kill him. Right, because remember what Gandalf told him? You have the power to, you know, kill someone, but also spare him. He just spared him. He gonna spare him. Because <laughs> Gollum would not do the same. That's all I'm saying. He wouldn't. Curse it and crush it. We'll hold it forever. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. You sort of nothing but his soft bed and his warm hearth since first he stepped out of his door. Come on, Bilbo. No, don't run away. Show that you're there. That's what I'm saying. Don't, come on, don't walk away. Like, be like, no. Prove right. them wrong. He isn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what does it matter? He's back. <laughs> yeah. He see he saw it, Bilbo. Yeah. He saw it. And you're right, I often think of Bag End. And that's why I came back. Is you don't have one. Good point. Good point, Bilbo. But I will help you take it back if I can. Good point. That was way better than the first thing you said. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Bilbo gotta put the ring on, disappear, and cut the white orc's face off. Basically. Yep. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Well, he need to take his sword back out. Right. Come on. Come on, just pull. He gonna put the ring on. Right. I was gonna say that. He could easily just put that on, too. Okay. He, never mind. He's just a fast climber. Okay. I don't think they're paying attention to him. The brown wizard? Is he? Is he getting him? Oh, you're right. Hothok. Yeah, bro. He's not dead. That's crazy that he just said that about his father and his grandfather. Oh, whatever Gandalf told that butterfly needs to hurry up because right now it's not looking good. Like, I feel like that's Loki cheating, honestly. <laughs> Like, why couldn't it just be the orcs fighting them? It might. 
<laughs> now what? Oh, come on. I'm okay. done. Yo, I swear, I'm, I was, guys, don't come at me, but again, I'll be doing stuff last minute. Yeah. Like, no, he do. He'll help you out, but he not gonna help you out until you really, really need it. Right. Because I don't know, it's like you couldn't think of that earlier. <laughs> Bro, he could have thought of that at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Bro, he's literally, he's saving all of them right now. Come on, kill him a second time. I'm cracking up. Why they make a seat so tall, but he's a dwarf? It's so funny. Bro. Did he just get like? I don't know what I wasn't. I didn't want to say it while he charged because I didn't want to be wrong. But I don't know what he thought he was about to do. Oh my goodness! Come on, Bilbo. Bilbo, turn invisible. Come on, do it. Right, cause he can definitely do that. Oh my goodness, Bilbo Baggins. Well, maybe he didn't know he was invisible either, honestly. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh! Bilbo, you are a hero. Okay, they escaped. And it's crazy because okay. he was literally talking about they don't need him and look at him coming through. Right. <laughs> The freaking eagles. eagles. <laughs> Yo, the eagles are the most clutches, right? Clutches, uh, character in the whole series of Hobby and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> The eagles saved the day. Yeah. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> oh, it looks so beautiful. No, I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty scary. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, boy. Okay, all right. He's fine. He's fine, guys. Sophie, relax. He's okay. What were you doing? You nearly got yourself killed. But you would not survive in the wild. And you had no place amongst us. Come wow. on, finish it. Fin ah, let him cook. Wait, wait. I have never been so wrong in all my life. Yeah! <laughs> I'm about to say, listen, because I'm about to be like, yo, yeah. that's ridiculous. So you had to let him cook a little bit. Like, let him, let him, you know what I'm saying, bring the line up, you know? Oh, that's the mountain. The last of the great dwarf kingdoms of Middle Earth. Hey, that looked far. <laughs> that does look far. We have a long two movies ahead of us. It's empty, it's like how it was. Dang, look at all that. Wow. Wow. That's Can I find lot. a jackpot like that? The dragon. So it was the so wow, the dragon's really just right. chilling there. Because I feel that was one thing I feel like I was confused about because it's like I don't know, to me it's like that's not a person. What would the dragon want to do with all that <clears throat> riches? You know what I'm saying? Maybe it has a reason to sit there or, or either to protect it, you know. True. Or maybe that was its home before. It could be a bunch of reasons. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't read any of the, any of the books yeah. of, of the Hobbit or anything, but that's just my theory. I think it's something as simple as that. But 
Let's talk about the movie. Okay. Overall, y'all, The Hobbit was an unexpected journey. Was literally what a person that has seen the three movie series, literally what they would call unexpected. Like, I'm thinking, hmm. Wow. This about to be directly like, okay, the beginning of before the Lord of the Rings. Like, it's about to, everything's about to make sense. Right. No. It's its own journey. It's its own story. Yeah. That we're that, still very confused right, about. Right. We're still learning stuff about that. Um, hmm. How do I explain it? It's its own story that within that story of itself can does connect to why there were more stories after that if that makes right. sense so but that's what kind of makes it a story because instead of it being this whole long thing that connects to the ring this is his own thing and lord of the rings is a series about just him and bilbo baggins but this the hobbit i don't think is just surrounded around bilbo baggins obviously it's surrounded by the story of what we're learning right now well, you get what I'm trying to say? I get what you're saying, but I actually think it being called an unexpected journey makes perfect sense. Because it's it clear like, you know, if when it comes down to Bilbo, he just wants to chill in the Shire. Just stay, do what he typically does. So, I feel like the whole storyline about the dwarves actually makes sense. Because Bilbo is not a person who just leaves the Shire. And it was unexpected. And he just went along with it. And... It's gonna clearly gonna create a a whole new storyline with himself because we know he got the ring and he's interacting with all these outside people that he never saw before. That's why even in Lord of the Rings, when he kept talking about he want to go to where the elves are, it makes sense because to think about how the elves, I guess, had maybe one of the, the most peaceful places and everything like that, and then like I said, him knowing Gandalf and just experiencing more than the Shire, and yeah. I think the only thing about this movie, it was like a little like slow, like really slow for us. So it was kind of hard for us to like really wrap our heads around everything that was happening because everything was literally just like, it's new. Where Lord of the Rings, even though we never read the books or anything else, it seemed like a straightforward mission. This one was just like... Unexpected. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, Bill, you're going on this mission. We didn't even really know why Gandalf wanted him to go and we found out because... The elf asked Gandalf, like, well, why the Hobbit? Like, why him? And then it's like, oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But it didn't legitimately feel like, oh, yeah, like, that's 100%. Oh, yeah, Bilbo should have been the one. Right. So it I, didn't seem right. like that. Like, so oh, I, yeah, you should have been the one. And that's right. why I said should've I feel anybody. like, that's, that's why I said the like. Hobbit itself creates a story within itself. Because Bilbo, I don't think any of this was originally supposed to be a path he gone he gone down. Of course. Now, what I will say is, I don't it's, know. I feel like they could have. I, mean, I know, like they explained, like um, I know in Lord of the Rings, like they explained, um, Smeagol background and everything. But I don't know, like, why do I feel like in this movie they should have touched more base on that? On what? On Smeagol with the ring. Like I don't know. Like kind of. They touched a lot on Smeagol. I know Lord they. The Rings. I know, but. I don't know. This this movie just kind of felt like it really did to me personally. It didn't really start to get like super enticing until like Bilbo you know and Smeagol met. You know why? Because 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 <laughs> we going into this, every person is expecting like basically a Lord of the Rings Part Four. Lord of the Rings Part Four, but as in the beginning. Actually, I'm lying, right? <laughs> Lord of the Rings we just ex- Zero. <laughs> we basically... We're expecting I, right, I, a Lord of the Rings movie. Just with a different name. But that's not what it is. It's not Lord of the Rings at all. That's not what I expected. That's actually. What I expected. That's not what I expected. I thought it was going to tell us about... It is telling us about his story, but I thought... I thought Bilbo's it, story was going to be more involved with what we saw right, in the last him. 40 minutes. Exactly. But it wasn't. But I kind of understand. That's what I was saying in the beginning as soon as I started saying talking. Because I'm like, okay, it's revolving around Bilbo, but it's more than just Bilbo and Smeagol. It's way more than that. It's showing about Thorin, you know, like, you know, new characters that's going to make the end, hopefully, of this series 
not just like Lord of the Rings, like, oh, its own conclusion, like, oh, that was nice. And then it's going to be like, oh, that's why Lord of the Rings happened. It's more like this is the story, and then like, oh, that's why. Like, the first two hours, like, this is the story. Then the last wording with, Sme- with Smeagol was like, oh, that's why Lord of the Rings happened. It's like two timelines, y'all. It's two timelines. Right, but And I... they meet real quick. That's what makes Lord of the Rings... And then they just keep going. You know, it's like two things. I mean, I think overall now, like I said, Gandalf clearly knows Bilbo has something. And that's definitely going to play a role in a lot of other things, honestly. So, no, I yes. like I said, I see, I see what they did. It's just like the last 50 minutes was like maybe the most... Gravitating part. Yeah. Everything else, it was just kind of like I don't new. know. I just felt like the storyline could have been developed a little better. Like I get that the dwarves really could care less for a bill, but, but I don't know. I feel like you said the, developed. It's the beginning. It's developing right now. That's why it's so new. I know, but I don't know. I just I don't know. It's just something about like so straightforward. Like yeah, the dwarves they're just trying to get their kingdom back, and then. The orcs are after them. Like I feel like it could have been a little bit Say more what you to make said it more interesting. When we were talking about earlier, you said it. They should have in the beginning, like how Lord of the Rings did. They went very in depth in the beginning. I feel like in the beginning with this one, it just talked about how they lost their home, you know. But I think yeah, they should have right. been a tiny bit more like, oh, where did the dragon come from? What magic? Who's the bad guy? You know? Yeah, because I feel like I feel like every scene, like even with the with the brown wizard, like I don't know, I just felt like everything was just popping in, and I just felt like well, the same thing with Sar 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 uh, Saruman when we first met him in Lord of the Rings, we didn't know who he was either. It was the same thing. No, that's not true. They explained it in the beginning. They did. Yes. They probably did. They they explained it. They in probably the beginning. did explain. What the thing the is, were. overall, the did. movie started off. With Bilbo being his old age, talking to um Frodo, Frodo. talking about that party they're supposed to attend to, yada yada yada, and then it went back to sixty years earlier. So, yep. like I said, I get it. Like this journey for Bilbo was very unexpected, but I feel like he did, like I feel like he had screen time, but not really. If you get what I'm saying, <laughs> he had big big uh moments. He had the biggest moments in the movie, but I see what your point. But that's what I'm trying to explain. It's like Bilbo's story, we know what's going to happen. But I think the focus of this movie was more on Thoron's story and helping him get his home back. That's why they were kind of no, sharing I it. I think it's you know? both. Because like I said, when you because we already watched Lord of the Rings, think about how, how Bilbo already knew all these people and all these things. He's told Frodo all these stories already. You know, so he's not new to it. So realistically... Going into Lord of the Rings, and I feel like Lord of the Rings did better with, like, the background. So, I feel like meeting characters didn't feel like why they thrown in the face. But with this one, it makes sense. Like, we met the elves. They met um those trolls, the orcs, all these characters that were, that Bilbo is just now meeting. It makes sense because that's what's going to help later down the line develop the story and how it's going to tie back to the ring. Because no matter what, the Hobbit leads on to Lord of the Rings. I get what you're saying though, because the thing about um the the dwarves like not having their home, but that's the whole point of Bilbo leaving the Shire, because now he just meeting things and within that his saying. own story is developing. Right. It was just like really new and everything like that. But we're hoping, like, you know, like I think after watching this, going into the next one, we're gonna be more educated on the background. So yeah, that's how it works. It is. But I see your point. I feel like if I had to say which one, uh, which first movie was better Lord with Rings. the building, uh, obviously. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we have a strong opinion on that. But I think a lot of people can agree for reasons Sophie spoke on. But nevertheless, The Hobbit is its own thing, regardless of how. <clears throat> As I was saying, regardless of how you want to connect to Lord of the Rings. But when you say own thing, like in what way, though? Because the way you're saying, like, own thing, you're making it seem like Bilbo's thing rarely has anything to do with, with Lord of the Rings, which isn't true. It leads up to it. Like, all your, all your, just say, like, The Hobbit is, it's is, um, no, 
is the startup of what leads to the race. is not. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, what? What is he talking about? You're trying to make it seem like the Hobbit has nothing to do. Like, you making it seem like Bilbo's <sighs> story has nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings. Like, what? <laughs> the Hobbit is his own story. Bilbo's actions within the Hobbit leads to Lord of the Rings. You're making wait, it seem... Wait, wait, wait. Repeat that again? The Hobbit is its own thing. Even by looking at this first movie, I no, see what they're doing. John it's its own story. And the ending is not going to be, it's not going to be like, oh, the finale of The Hobbit. Wow. And now we're seeing the beginning of Lord of the Rings. No, it's going to be mm-hmm. like that. But it's like, don't look at it just for that. Like I just said, this is not Lord of the Rings Zero. This is The Hobbit. <laughs> it's completely different. You're making it seem like this is Zero, and then once the series is over, it'd be, all right, Lord of the Rings 1. So it's, that's, it's different. It's different. I it's actually, a prequel, but it's different. And that's probably I get why what you're saying. people actually don't, you know what I'm saying, if they were to pick their favorites, they would pick Lord of the Rings. And I get that. Probably because the storyline was right like, because the Hobbit possibly was, right. I was get better. It. But the what did we just watch? Crap! What did we just say that was like different? Okay. El Camino. That's why people didn't like it because people were expecting like, oh, where's Breaking Bad? Like it's not Breaking Bad. No, it's not that people didn't like it. People just didn't realize that there was no, like Jesse. His ending, like he needed an ending. Him going away wasn't an ending right. for him. The whole point of El Camino was just to close out right. Jesse's, Jesse's character. Sto- exactly. Not, oh, not a uh, what happens after in Breaking Bad. No, it's about Jesse. This is The Hobbit about Bilbo. Not, oh, what happens before. You're thinking, oh, what happens before Lord of the Rings? It's not just about that. Bilbo's, I don't know what he's talking about, but Bilbo's story clearly intertwines with the Lord of the Rings you can't separate the two because clearly the ring itself even existing shows how throughout time something's gonna happen where they're trying to just get rid of everything and all the stuff we saw in Lord of the Rings hope you enjoyed the reaction to Hobbit Unexpected Journey and we will see y'all on the next one perfect perfect